Hey, this is Alex Coulomb, and I uh, thought I would just take a little tour today of the Omniverse XR Beta. Uh, what's special about this, what caught my eye, is the ability to actually do ray tracing in VR, which is something that I have tried in Unreal Engine uh, to pretty much no success. Uh, it's just very, very heavy, but my understanding is um, Omniverse kind of like Chaos Vantage is a, a true ray tracing engine, and that actually allows it to do some things that a hybrid engine like Unreal Engine uh, cannot. And so um, I've just loaded up a simple USD kitchen scene I found online for free here, and I am paying very close attention to the reflections in particular. Uh, you know, these are not screen space reflections, they are not um, any kind of trick. Well, I mean, they are, anything on a computer is a trick, but this is uh, actual ray traced reflections that I see in VR. And, and they're lovely. It's, it's very cool to see this. And it's one of those subtle things where even if you aren't consciously aware of it, there's something, oh, I can grab things. Cool. All right. I didn't know I could grab things. Um, and more reflections there. Cool. Oh, and there's a little bit of ghosting also. That's kind of interesting. And, and, and I like this kind of outline thing. Um, yeah, that little outline that shows me uh, that something is behind something else. That's kind of a nice little detail, a little orange outline there. But the reflections, that's the main thing. <laughs> no, I can't throw things. Uh, the little reflections are very cool. Um, is there an undo button? I don't think so. Uh, Control-Z doesn't work. Um, nom, 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 nom. Um, what was I saying? Anyways, it's one of these subtle things where even if you uh, can't actually put your finger on, on why everything is looking better than what you expected. Something like um, the little ray traced reflections and, and ambient occlusion and global illumination going on here is quite nice. There's a little bit more of that ghosting. That's really interesting. But uh, yeah, you can just see the blue um, reflected there in the side. Uh, it's really nice. It's, it's, you know, this isn't meant to be like a photorealistic scene. It has some stylization, but the, um, the extra ray tracing oomph really, really sells the thing. Look at this kitchen. We've got all sorts of stuff in here. Let's see if I can open the cabinet. Nope, I cannot open the cabinet. Oh, man. Okay, well, there that goes. Um, well, a fine mess I've gotten myself in now. Uh, yeah, no, no undo button. So this is just what my life is now. Yikes. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess we'll end it there then. Um, thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this brief little tour through the world of this beta. Um, my next step is I'm trying to get like a really large, complex scene into here because, again, ray tracing should allow for, um, you know, in theory, billions of, of um, polygons and whatnot, a little bit the same way people get excited about Nanite in Unreal Engine 5. That's a particular trick that is specific to Unreal Engine. But in a true ray tracing engine like Omniverse here, um, we should also be able to render uh, billions uh, of data points as well. So I'm going to see if I can find a larger USD scene. And I'd recommend that NVIDIA just also um, provide one, provide some samples, like show us, hey, here's what makes this extra cool. Um, but for now, uh, I think that's it. So <laughs> thanks everyone for watching and, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.